Welcome back to the channel. The time has come for us to line up our PCs for next year, meaning 2022 at this moment, for our cheap PC build series. I really wanted to try and pull off doing two machines at the same time this year, but I'm just not going to be able to. And the two reasons for that, one is the financial aspect. I could probably make that happen if I really, really pushed hard to do it. But the other one is there really aren't two machines that are worth buying right now at least in my opinion, for Black Friday sales as of Black Friday 2021. And to help illustrate that, I've kind of decided to put together a buyer's guide video. The good news is, those of you who voted overwhelmingly want to see an HP next year. And the good news for you is I think HP is the only thing worth buying right now, so you're in luck. To help explain that, I'm going to put together what I'm going to call a little bit of a Black Friday buyer's guide video. And I know I'm cutting it kind of on the razor's edge here, but is what it is. Some of these sales didn't come out until, you know, when they came out and plus busy and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go through each of these options and I'll show you what's on the market and why we're not doing that. So to start at the beginning, this year's quote unquote winner, if you're on the most hardcore of budgets, is the exact same winner from last year, <laughs> the Dell 3880. It is actually the same price this year as last year, and they're giving you just a little bit more than they gave you last year for your money. What you're getting right here is still the i3 10th generation that mine came with. You're not getting an SSD, so you're getting a very slow one terabyte hard drive, which is a problem. You're gonna want an SSD. They're giving you eight gigs of RAM instead of the four mine came with, but it is single channel. And my testing showed you will for sure want to add another eight gigs to it, which is not a big deal to get the dual channel performance. And most importantly of all, they're giving you an optical drive in the thing this year, which thousands of people have been upset that their 3880s didn't come with an optical drive. So there you go. If you are cash strapped, you're gonna get exactly the same computer, plus or minus 10% of capability that you got last year for the same price as last year. So with that said, this thing is already behind a generation in CPU. I think until 12th generation CPUs are supposed to be out somewhat soon. So it's almost two generations behind. Dell facelifts their cases every, I don't know, three, four years, something like that. So this one is already approaching midlife. This is year two of this design. So, you know, be aware you're, you're getting a bargain because these are cheap components. This is also the only machine I could find available at a discount price that still has an i3. Everything else that I could find on the market is moved up to an i5. But if cash is king, 330 bucks, call it 350 with tax, 3880 is not a bad place to start. But I've already been there and done that. There's a whole series on it, which I'll throw a flag to up there. You can go check out and I'll also link that in the description. So I'm not gonna buy the same computer twice. Next up, took a cursory look at Acer. Their website is so bad that you go to desktops and they show you these Chrome boxes that are hundreds of dollars. I'm not even sure why anyone would buy. Yeah, I'm sure there's a purpose. I just don't know that purpose. Uh, I looked around some other like retail outlets for Acer and the machines I was finding are all older designs. Uh, sort of the same problem as Dell. You're going to get a 10th generation CPU. You're going to get Windows 10 preloaded on it. Forgot to mention that with the Dell. It still comes with Windows 10, but you can upgrade to 11 for free if you want. But basically Acer, no good deals, no machines I'm interested in. Would love to look at them in the future. I don't really pronounce this as Aussis. You tell me. But depending on where I look, these two machines right here can be found at various price points and various configurations. They both look more or less fine. Both of them come with older processors. So the latest I can find is 10th generation processors again. Uh, they both come with Windows 10 and they are not cheap. I think the cheapest one I could find for the 300A, yeah, B&H has one for 650. And that's getting pretty spicy for a machine with over a year old processor uh, coming up on two years. So, and it's already a generation old, you know, no graphics card, none of that stuff. That's it's getting kind of spicy. Would love to look at one of these machines in the future. The other thing holding me back is that this case design is old. This has been on the market for a while and I don't want to jump into the tail end of the case design because from a YouTube perspective, that limits me pretty dramatically. I, I wanna have some good life on the videos because these are, as you can see, very expensive videos to make. So for this year, we're gonna rule them out, but I would love to look at one in the future. Lenovo was the most hilarious company to look into. I'm not sure what their typical retail outlet offerings would look like, but these are old designs from them and these are like half width cases, so I wouldn't buy one of those anyway. I wanna keep them all like quote unquote standard mid tower width. 
So once you get down to one with a regular width case, this is the same model they've had on the market for at least two years. It's pretty expensive and it's got all the same problems everybody else has, where it's still Windows 10, it's still a 10th generation CPU. It's just not a very good bargain. Their Black Friday ads are also hilariously bad. Uh, basically, there's a bunch of pictures that say starting from starting from laptops, starting at $200 or you know, whatever you want. You, know, you can go to this link up here and check it out or it's probably on their page too. But what they also did in their flyer is spend like two or three pages listing off everything that's on sale for Black Friday in text, which is just monumentally cumbersome to deal with. So I did read through all this crap. I, there's nothing here that interested me at all. Uh, no real good prices on anything I was interested in. So had to rule them out for the moment as well. And that brings us to what I did do, which is this HP Envy. I'm going to call it a 2250 XT. I don't really know how HP does stuff, uh, but I'm sure I'm going to learn because I've actually already ordered the one I bought. This is far and away the deal that I would propose to people. This is akin to the model that I suggested to people to buy from Dell last year, meaning that it actually has features that are worth the money to buy. Last year's Dell and this year's Dell are basically the same thing. So comparing the two, you're gonna spend another $120 to come over here, but I personally think it's $120 well spent if you have the money to spend. First of all, HP is shipping this guy with Windows 11 preloaded, so you don't need to go through the upgrade hassle from going to 10 to 11, they're just gonna do it for you. If you are leery of 11, I understand. I've read when you upgrade from 10 to 11 that you have like a week where you can put it back to 10 if you really hate 11, but most of the preliminary reviews I'm reading about 11 make it sound like it's fine. The only thing that's controversial is they moved the start button from over here to like a cluster in the middle. So the start button's never in the same place. So you'll have all your apps down here. And as you get more apps, the start button keeps moving over and moving over. And people don't like that. And apparently you can lock it back to where it's supposed to be, which I will probably do. Otherwise, it sounds like 11 is fine. And staying current with security and everything else is good. So let's stay with the modern OS. That's my opinion. HP is doing that for me. So it's even easier for me to say that's a good thing. HP is the only company offering an 11th generation processor in their Black Friday specials that, that I've seen anyway. I've also scoured places like Target, Walmart, Best Buy, Costco, blah, 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 looking at their Black Friday flyers as well. And I'm seeing the same thing kind of across the board, where if you want to be as current as you can, your best bet is to order this guy straight from HP. And as comparing this to the Dell, uh, you're getting eight gigs of dual channel RAM. So this is two four gig sticks, which is awesome. That's a big upgrade right out of the box. Uh, you're getting an SSD, which is mandatory. So that's a giant upgrade right out of the box. And the biggest thing I found to be surprising is HP is gonna ship you a 400 watt power supply straight out of the box probably because they offer up to like RTX 3060 graphics cards in this thing. So they would actually need to use that power. So that is cool. As far as I can tell, no matter whatever proprietary interface HP might be using, we should not need to upgrade the PSU to run a graphics card, which is pretty freaking fantastic. One downside I'm not sure about is I can't determine if this particular machine comes with an optical drive or not. Most pictures I see of this thing somewhere else to make it looks like there is one, there'll be like a chunk missing over here. Like this picture over here on B&H shows that there's this slot missing where you, we should have a drive bay to put something in. And the picture over at HP doesn't show us that, but I cannot find one of these Envy machines in this case available for sale anywhere that does not include an optical drive. They don't specifically spell it out in the specifications here, so I shouldn't expect one, but I'm kind of halfway expecting one. And if not, we'll put one in. It looks like there's a probably a funky slot cover geometry, you know, sort of the same problem we had with the Dell from last year, but we'll figure it out. We always do. And maybe we'll discover that HP is easier to work with the, than Dell. Maybe I can call them up and order what it's actually supposed to have, which Dell won't sell you. So that's the only mystery is whether or not this thing comes with an optical drive. And I'm prepared to deal with that. Everything else about it is much better than the best competing offer I could find, which would be the 3880 from last year, basically. So for an extra 120 bucks, you get an awful lot more. You get the next generation newer CPU, which is also an i5, not an i3. Windows 11 comes with it. Uh, you're getting eight gigs of dual channel RAM and an SSD, although it's a small one. Much better off to end up with this guy. So Black Friday 2021, Max's personal top choice for PC of the year, quote unquote, if you're cheap, which we are, is the HP Envy TE01-2250 XT PC.
Spoiler alert, I have already ordered mine. It should be here in a couple weeks and the new series getting started with unboxings and upgrades and all that stuff will be firing up uh, probably just after the first of the year. For fun, I documented my process of purchasing it from HP and some of the options I selected and explained why I selected them. That will be the next video out in the series and I would expect that you should see that in a week or two. As always, I want to thank you guys for stopping in for this one and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Max E. Saddington Bear, and if you like that video, hey, like the video. If you'd like to watch some more of them, here's some more for you. And if you want to come back and watch more, always consider becoming a subscriber. And we'd like to thank you once again from the bottom of both our hearts for stopping in.